first of all, I feel there, there are quite many different issues which have come up and I need to really clarify them as a ministry and specifically as a minister responsible for sports. I want to confirm that Nambo is under renovation and the contractor which is carrying out the renovation of Nambole is the UPDF Engineering Brigade. I want to confirm that as government, the total budget for the renovation of Nambole was meant to be, and I want my English to be clearly defined, was meant to be and was approved to be 97 billion. I want to confirm, out of the 97 billion, the amount of money which has so far been released for the renovation of the project or of the stadium is 80 billion. And of the 80 billion, I also want to confirm that the UPDF has undertaken works worth that amount of money. For that matter, we did ask for additional financing for purposes of completing the stadium. Because you are aware, CAF has carried out two inspections for this specific facility under our request as government. Why? We wanted to confirm to the Confederation of African Football that the renovations, works which are taking place in the stadium are in line with the CAF guidelines. Want to confirm, CAF did identify some of the impediments which were affecting the completion of the final renovation of the project. Those impediments are in line with the balance of money which we expected from the Minister of Finance to would have released to the Minister of Education we should be transferred to the contractor. So as of now, where is the challenge for as far as our hosting the games on 5th of March and 9th of 5th of June and 9th of June are concerned? These impediments are all associated with the financing. So the first question, which for me is, should be directed to finance why haven't they released the money for purpose of me completing the project and have the games, have the country host the games? As a client, I have made it clear, my senior minister has actually written three letters reminding the minister of responsible for finance that they are the ones who confirmed that the government would fund the completion of this project. Unfortunately, as I speak now, Minister of Finance has not released the balance of the 17 billion which should help me complete the renovation of the stadium to be ready to host the game as per 5th June, as per what we would request as the people of Uganda. So where is the problem? It's not Oguang. Where is the problem? It's not education. Where is the problem? It's finance. I end there. So losing the bid. So what happens if you lose the bid and now, you're scared of losing the bid? Now there are two contradictions here. There's a project called Africon 2027, and there's a project called the Chan 2024. Finance has given us money for Chan, which Chan is for September 2024. Are you getting me? Which money? Part of it is going to begin to fast track the training pitches for Chan, which training pitches were already earmarked as part of the AFCON project 2027. So I don't want us to confuse the World Cup qualifier with Chan Championship and AFCON 2027. Are you getting me? That should be made clear. For now, what we are discussing is the money for completion of Nambole as per the phase one of the project to allow the country host its games at home. For the other project of Chan, AFCON 2027, even as you say, as I speak now, I am appearing before a committee of education and sports specifically to begin submitting proposals for the plans and asking for money for training pitches, 
for AFCON 2027 because work must begin now. Number two, the stadium for AFCON 2027 has been earmarked. I want to put it on record as government. We are in the final stages with the contractor, which was identified called Miss Suma Construction Company, to construct a stadium in Hoima. Fully fledged stadium. We are now in final stages. Technical team, as of today, they have flown to carry out due diligence in Chigali, where that stadium, that contractor has constructed a stadium and other facilities in Rwanda. So that is what is taking place. But for purposes of what? World Cup qualifier, and that's the interest of the country now, is entirely give me 70 billion and work is completed and we have a game at home. So Ogwang is not a problem, nor is it Mama Janet Kataya M7. The problem should be directed to Kasaija, who is our senior minister of finance. Why haven't they released the money? That's the question. Because now, if I don't have money, what do you want me to do? 